I realize I haven't really uploaded any videos in about six months now, but hey, I thought I might as well, you know, try and make a video again, but this is a quarter inch thick dish I made out of Starlight um, from the same recipe as Nighthawk and what I used in one of his recent videos, and I decided I'd like to test this against Thermite. So, I'll be mixing up a batch of Thermite today and, well, see just how all this stuff holds up. We've just got a 22 gram mixture of Thermite here, so I'll go ahead and mix that up and then we'll bring it out and test against Starlight. Components have been mixed, so we'll take this out and see how Starlight fares against 4000 degrees. So for the first test, I'm going to have a little dish sitting upside down on top of the ceramic pot here. Pour the thermite in its powder form on top of the dish, and we'll see how it holds, holds up when the molten steel runs over the entirety of it. Alright, test one of Starlight versus Thermite. Not bad. That went so well, I can touch it fully on either side, even ungloved. And it's not even hot. It's been less than one minute since I did that test, and the entirety of it is just barely warm. The surface that was hit by the thermite has blackened as expected, and the other side has just barely begun to turn color. Mainly around the edges. Next, I'll mix up another mixture of 22 grams of thermite, this time with the dish upside down. This way it acts as a sort of crucible, and you can see how it works at containing molten metal. Some things I forgot to mention earlier is that this dish was actually made three days ago, and it's been curing for around 72 hours now. It's probably way overkill for how long for it to dry, but I wanted to wait until it was entirely dry before putting it against thermite. Next, 22 grams of thermite have been mixed. Now we'll test it against the starlight. Interesting. At the outside is cold enough for me to pick up. Impressive. Very impressive indeed. That actually performed much, much better than I anticipated. I can have my hand on the exact opposite side of where the thermite was burning and where it's still red hot. And it's cool. And from that, we get a nice, shiny bead of iron. Still a lot of iron in this lag, but it's too hot for me to break up at the moment. For a final test of the starlight, I will take a chunk of it and surround it with thermite. See how it takes heating from every single side. Well, I accidentally messed up the thermite, and so this time we got 44 grams of thermite rather than 22. So we'll see how that goes. I think that looks good.
Real cool. Real cool. Even though there's still basically molten steel in it, or iron, my bad. The entirety of it, including the bottom underneath of it, still cool enough for me to pick up and hold without a problem. As for the chunk that was in it, yeah. No, no problem. I can pick that up fine. It does feel light, so I'm imagining most of the cornstarch has burned away and carbonized, so. We'll break that open later, but this is very promising, and I'm very happy that this has gone this way so far. One thing I noticed is that the underside of this, if I can flip this chunk over, looks like it wasn't heated as evenly, and that is evidenced by the fact that there's a lot of unburnt thermite which would have been under that piece. So that's interesting. Maybe covering it just wasn't was too much and the thermite wasn't able to catch, but that's interesting. I think I'll use the remainder of the thermite in here and sitting in the dish just to do one final burn test from inside the dish. Because why not? I can make the stuff easily, so we'll see how that holds up again. Starlight versus thermite, final test of the day. enough to pick up. I hope to do more videos about this in the future, and would like to be able to use this for rocketry or metal melting. I'll link the video on how to make this down in the description, along with any other cool tests of this stuff I've seen. If you have any other ideas for what I can test this against, please let me know, and I'll try and do those in the future. I'm probably going to try and do some different mixtures of this, maybe a few additives, different ratios, but until then, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.